Live from the Plymouth Canton Educational Park, you're listening to News File at 5.30 on 88.1 The Park. I'm Alia, and in tonight's news, small works on display at the Northville Art House, and the Saxon parking lot is open to cars in downtown Plymouth. Now for the latest news that matters in your community. The work of artists from all across the globe will be on display when the Northville Art House presents their annual Small Works exhibition. The exhibition will highlight good things that come in small packages since works are limited to 16 inches in any direction. Over 70 artists will showcase their talents through original paintings, fused glass, photography, and more. Visitors can peruse the exhibition to view and purchase art and gifts for the holidays. Creative Director of Northville Art House Ryan Kaltenbach says this exhibition is a way to appreciate artists' work and contribution to the community's culture. Our artists are ones that are bring the culture and vibrance to the community and hosting these kind of exhibitions is just a fun atmosphere and great for learning about what artists are working on, having conversations about them, and then of course around the holidays gift giving is great as well. Small Works will be on display from November 10th to December 16th from 5 to 8 p.m. at the Northville Art House. For more information, visit northvillearthouse.org. Visitors to downtown Plymouth will see a new look and more parking options at the corner of Ann Arbor Trail and Deer Street following the completion of the renovation project at the old Saxon site. The renovation parking lot offers 47 free parking spaces along with four new EV charging stations to be opened in the near fo- future. The space also includes new trees, a rain garden, benches, and bike racks that will be added soon. Plymouth Downtown Development Authority Director Sam Plymouth uh, says the new lot will be important for downtown visitors. I think it was very important to make that portion of downtown look improved with you know better landscaping and other amenities as we added a parking lot in the downtown. The lot's expansion was made possible by the demolition of the old Saxons building. The continuing struggles to elect a new Speaker of the House of Representatives tops our look at world and national news tonight. House Majority Whip Tom Emmer is dropping out of the Speaker race just hours after being nominated by the Republican caucus. Emmer, who is seen by some as a more moderate option, failed to rally the necessary support from his own party as more than two dozen Republicans opposed his bid for the Speaker's gavel. Former President Trump also spoke out against Emmer's nomination on Truth Social, saying it would be a tragic mistake if he were elected Speaker. Republicans are currently meeting behind closed doors to find a path forward. Efforts to free the hostages held by Hamas continue as the war between Israel and Hamas rages for the 18th day. According to multiple reports, intensive talks are underway after the militant group released two elderly Israeli women on humanitarian grounds. Israel has reportedly agreed to delay a ground invasion amid an international push to free the more than 200 captives being held in Gaza. The United Auto Workers Union is expanding its strike once again. The union announced on Tuesday that around 5,000 workers at GM's Arlington assembly plant will hit the picket lines. The walkout comes just hours after the automaker released its third quarter earnings results that came in above expectations. A Plymouth man will spend up to 20 years in prison after being found guilty of setting his home on fire in 2019. Patrick Nolan was convicted in September and sentenced yesterday. He will also have to repay an insurance company over $272,000 in restitution. A number of agencies, including the Michigan State Police, investigated the fire and determined it was arson. For News at 530, I'm Alia. Your look at campus news is next. The K-pop universe is constantly changing with trendy comebacks and updates from all your favorite idols. On 88 When the Park's K-pop In, you can hear the iconic throwbacks that paved the way for the newest songs from every genre. We're your hosts, Anuya, Avni, Akshay Apriya, and Chan, and we're here to keep you in the loop with K-pop In, the gateway to the extraordinary world of K-pop. Whether you're a longtime fan or just starting your journey, we'll play the hits that have made the industry a worldwide sensation. Join us every week with news updates and artist spotlights on Tuesdays and Wednesdays from 6 to 7 p.m. So tune in, turn it up, and let K-pop in show you the beats that are taking over the world. You are placed for Plymouth Canton Community Schools updates. It's Campus News. In Campus News, the Plymouth Canton Community Schools will host an in-person job fair tomorrow from 3.30 to 6 p.m. at the Canton High School School Cafeteria. 
You can explore open positions throughout the district, including teachers, paraprofessionals, administrative, administrative assistants, food service, and more. More information is at pccsk12.com. PCCS is asking district families to take the time to respond to our 2023 Fall Family School Relationship Survey. The survey is part of the PCCS Dynamic Plans effort to ensure that students and families feel engaged and informed about district activities and, their, and that their input is used to help shape district activities and programs. The survey is live now and the extended deadline is open to all PCCS families until October 29th. You can submit your responses by visiting the official district website, pccsk12.com. PCCS is inviting the community to chat with Superintendent Dr. Monica Mary next month during another installment of her popular Coffee with Monica series. Coffee with Monica is an opportunity to meet the Superintendent Mayor and members of the district leadership team. Dr. Mary will share information about the latest happenings in our district and take the the time to hear community feedback and answer questions coffee with monica will take place on monday november 6th from 5 30 p.m to 6 30 p.m at miller elementary schools media center for campus news i'm a conch goalie your look at sports is next i'm alia 81 the park's web and social media director and to be honest this radio station is a big part of why i'm able to thrive here at pcp you see, I came to the Plymouth Canton community as a freshman after moving here from out of state. I needed a place to find my voice, and that place was 81. Applying to join the staff was my way of getting to know other people and boosting my confidence. Three years later, my experience at 81 has turned into something much more amazing than I ever would have imagined. Now I spend time with all of you on my show, which is a great creative outlet, and I get to share the fantastic things we do here at the station with the community and connect with others on our social media channels. The skills I learned here just can't be found anywhere else, and it's all because of you. You can support the station and students like me during our Thanks for Giving pledge drive from November 6th through the 11th. For more information, visit 81thepark.com. From all of us here at 81 The Park, Thanks for giving. Football, baseball, basketball, hockey. It's time for News File at 530 Sports. The Michigan football team remains under scrutiny after one of its staffers allegedly bought tickets to 30 Big Ten games over the past three years. ESPN is reporting that Connor Stallions had seats at 11 different schools over the three-year period, and none of the games featured Michigan as an opponent. Stallions also had tickets on both sidelines for Ohio State's game against Penn State this past weekend, but the tickets were not used. The NCAA has been investigating the Wolverines for illegally stealing signs from opposing football teams. The start of the NBA season tips off with a doubleheader tonight. Nikola Jokic and the defending NBA champion Nuggets host LeBron James and the Los Angeles Lakers in Denver. Steph Curry and the Golden State Warriors will battle the Phoenix Suns new trio of Kevin Durant, Devin Booker, and Bradley Beal in San Francisco in the nightcap. The Pistons open up the regular season tomorrow night in Miami against Jimmy Butler and the Heat. Detroit will visit Charlotte on Friday before hosting the Chicago Bulls in its home opener on Saturday. The Pistons are in search of their first playoff appearance since 2019. The Red Wings will resume their three-game home stand tonight against the Seattle Kraken at LCA. Detroit started the stand with a 6-2 route of Calgary on Sunday. The Wings have won five straight overall since their season opening loss to the Devils. The Lions are turning their attention to the Raiders. Detroit will host the Las Vegas Raiders on Monday Night Football next week. The Lions continue to lead the NFC North at 5-2 despite their loss to the Ravens this past week. For News File 530, I'm Brody Klein. Your we'll look at traffic and weather is next. From M14 to I-94, your look at traffic starts now. Look for slow traffic on all the freeways in Plymouth Canyon this afternoon as construction projects continue. I-275 northbound and southbound have traffic down to two lanes, and we have delays on M14 eastbound and I-96 westbound. That's all for traffic. Your look at weather is next. 88 won the park with your local weather forecast. Rain will arrive overnight with a low of 60. Clouds and rain will remain tomorrow with a high of 67. Right now in Plymouth Canton, it's 78 degrees under sunny skies. On your source for the best local news, 88 won the park. For Brody and Akanch, I'm Alia on Newsfot at 530. Stick around, K-Poppin is next, followed by Plymouth and Canton's hit music at 7.